What's up gamers? How the heck are you? My name is Epic Pins and welcome to a new grounded video. In today's video, I want to talk about now look, I know the thumbnail said five terrible things. Maybe. It says that because over the past few days I've watched count I don't know, it's not countless. It's it's been probably about know, 10 or 15 YouTube videos of you know big grounded YouTubers, um, some smaller ones, and uh their opinions and reviews on the new update and what what they like and what they dislike and a lot of them had a lot of dislikes which i i don't have as much as they do but they had a bunch you know i saw some videos where it was like 10 10 things i hate about the new update or 10 things they can fix and i and i don't know it just it, it got kind of like like depressing that there was so much hatred going around for a a test game like a, it's like a test server it's a public test server and it's still a game that's still in alpha <laughs> i mean like calm down like you know like there's a reason that they have it anyway uh, before i get off on a tangent so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over about five things that i saw that was a like a, a reoccurring theme and i want to talk about them with you guys and i might not necessarily think they're terrible but this has kind of been a consensus over the few videos i've seen so i want to kind of get your guys' opinion on it and see what you think number one this this is in really no particular order it's just kind of like you know it's top of my head really <laughs> this one's kind of weird but okay um someone kept complaining or someone i don't know it was like a i don't know it wasn't just a singular person i started seeing some there was no people were complaining that there were no new bugs and no new armor no new tools really um for one that was never promised um we knew what this update was we knew what it was gonna be um it wasn't supposed to be big um and it wasn't supposed to be crazy huge file it was supposed to be more simplistic and kind of not underwhelming but like just to really introduce a new aspect of the game i don't even think in the original idea when we were getting we knew about base raids, but we had no idea what they were really implementing. And honestly, I feel like they gave us a little bit more than I even thought we were going to get. So I thought that was kind of cool, but they never said new bugs were coming. We just always kind of assume that's a thing. And I feel like that's crazy. You can't, you can't get mad about something that they didn't, they didn't say they were even going to give us. So don't do that. So, that, I mean, that's, this is kind of like a big, big deal that I felt like people were bringing up a lot. And we did get new tools. Now, you may have thought they were underwhelming, and I did at first too, which I think is kind of crazy. And I actually thought they were underwhelming, but if you guys look at my inventory right now, they're both there. I currently have both of them in my inventory. Like, I use them on a regular. I mean, the torch is cool because you can repair it. I think that's awesome. Um, just a little bit of charcoal and simple repair. Um, the charcoal um flask is also awesome as well um i do kind of wish it didn't like i feel like it it deteriorates a little too quick kind of wish it didn't do that as much but it's okay it's one you know it's a charcoal piece and in charcoal filters in real life you have to replace them because they get where they wear over time they don't filter as well so it makes perfect sense and, and I, I didn't think i would use it that much but i actually found myself using it quite a bit um i never found it super difficult to just get a little glob of water but it's nice to not have to try to get a glob of water and just find some water real quick and floop, scoop it up so i use them so i can't complain that i thought they were underwhelming if i constantly use them you know what i'm talking about <laughs> anyway so moving on to number two so number two uh this is kind of goes in the same boat to me but people talked about the lack of new areas and there wasn't a big you know area change which once again they i pretty much i think all of us for the most part all of all, all of most of the content creators kind of said that there you know we we figured there wasn't going to be one you know i even said that i think i think we might minor terrain changes um but i don't think it was gonna be anything crazy and it wasn't i knew it was gonna be minor terrain changes i didn't know but i figured you know just because it, they said it was gonna be a smaller update so this is that this but i think we even got more than what we bargained for for that because i was like Oh, we're not going to get really any terrain changes, but we did like a lot of areas or a few areas that were kind of underwhelming. Um, I mean, they added the mixers in certain in certain areas that were kind of like I felt were lacking. They didn't have like a lot there, but now they have like, you know, the little the area next to Frankenstein 
or Frankenline where the uh, bomber beetles are. That area is cool to me now. Like it has, it has like, you know, it has like new ravines. It has like uh, a bunch of mushrooms there, which is, you know, just another resource area to gather mushrooms, you know? So, cause I always felt like there was kind of like, you know, there weren't, there weren't anywhere close to a base that I had, which I think is cool because now they are. So that was another resource where I was like, all right, cool. So it was just a cool new area. And I thought, I thought, you know, I thought that was awesome. And we also got the upper grass yard or we saw like them adding things into the upper grass area, which I didn't think we were going to get that at all, but they're starting to add stuff up there, which kind of gives us a insight of what we're going to be looking for in the future. So that's, that was super cool. So I think we got more than they even remotely promised. So I don't know. I don't know. That was another thing. You guys tell me in the comments whether you hated that they didn't add new areas or, you know, new terrain, which I feel like they did some. So, I mean, I feel like we got more than I even thought we were going to get. Anyway, moving on to number three. Now, this is a big one. I'm going to... There, there are a couple big ones on here, and I'm going to go do this one, and then I'm going to do another big one for last. This is a big one. So, um... Armor. Yeah, armor. I have my gripes with it too. Um, the armor upgrades. I have my gripes with it too. Not as much as some. Um, I've seen I've seen videos where people just talk about how underwhelming the the lower tier armor is gonna be. You're like you're never gonna use it. Um, I mean you'll use it in the beginning of the game, but I do think that there's no point in having um like having the ability to upgrade it because once you get to tier three armor there's there's kind of no point to upgrade the lower tier armor but you'll use it in the beginning of the game like you always did um because you can't get really pulley ar armor right off the bat you can't get you know uh you know termite armor or that stuff right off the bat so you're gonna have to work with your grub your clover and stuff like that or the ladybug armor um and i do think it costs i caught it cost a little too much I don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks because people people hate the grind. But guess what? You've seen me this whole video. I'm not grinding technically. I'm not like collecting supplies, but I'm clearing out an area because I'm putting up my this will be this will be one of my new bases that I've decided to build. But like a grind exists in all survival games. Like I don't know. I mean, have you ever played Ark? I mean, like some of those saddles you have to make for your mounts in Ark cost like. 500 metal and do you know how long it takes to grind metal when you're by yourself not with like a crew of people it takes forever <laughs> i mean unless you mess with the settings which you know you can mess with the settings and make it really easy to hit you know you hit one metal thing and gives you a crap ton but that's not the point the point is there's a grind there there's always a grind and like i feel like that's something that you're it's weird to to complain about when it's like it's always been there there's always going to be a grind in most survival games I've seen. Like, there's maybe a few where there's not, but like, you got to get resources, and that's kind of how it works. Now, I do agree the cost for upgrading is a little high. This is something they should look at. Um, I think that if they bring that down a little bit, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, maybe not make Grub Hide like needed to be used so much throughout the whole thing because it kind of gets annoying grubs don't always drop the hide for one i don't know if you can make them if you if you made them drop more hide it'd be a lot different because they just don't always drop hide and it's so annoying to have to um to have to kill a bunch of grubs to not always get rewarded for it so that's that's something that we needed to look at in my opinion so i do agree with some aspects of the armor you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about the armor, but I, I do agree in some aspects of the armor, just not every aspect of the armor. Four, moving on to number four. Now, number four, I agree with <laughs> completely. Tur turrets, tur turrets, turrets, sorry, broke for a second. Turrets, the turrets are very underwhelming to me. They're not, I, I love the movement of them. I love the look of them. I think they're cool and that aspect but they are just underwhelming like the damage isn't great um if it fired a little bit faster i wouldn't worry about the damage so much but it fires kind of slow i don't even need to be perfectly accurate because i mean that's just not it's, i mean accuracy is kind of a crazy thing um but uh i don't need it to be perfectly accurate like, but it's just not that great of a tool in my opinion like i i, I would rather just fire arrows 
you know, I just feel like I'm going to be more accurate with my arrows and they're going to do way more damage. So I don't have to worry about them as much. I think that took that. Okay. Um, so that's just another thing. You know, it's like, it's not, you know, it's just like a minor thing. Like just, if you could just up the speed of them just a little bit, I feel like that would fix the turrets. I do agree that they're underwhelming and I wish if they just fired a little bit faster, I'd, I'd have no problem. I think, would, I think they would be super fun to use in a lot of the fights. I just find myself, it's a lot easier to just not use them. And that's kind of sad because they're, they're kind of cool. And I kind of wish they had like auto turrets because that'd be really cool too. You know, like something to protect my base when I'm not there. You know, that'd be cool. Just a thought. Just a thought. I don't know how you would implement that in the game, like with the with the design or anything like that. But just 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 a thought. Just a thought. You know, just saying. All right. Last and certainly not least, mixers. I I agree with this aspect. A lot of people have complained that they do not like the mixers are one time hit only. I agree. I thought that was very poor choice. And I really just kind of wish they were that you could use. I, I wish you I wish how it worked was that maybe the first time let's let me let's think about it this way. Here, I'm just gonna, so maybe like the first time you use them, you get the you know, you get your 2000 um, your 2000 raw science. Great. But maybe it like doesn't break because right now it kind of looks like it breaks when you finish them. And uh, like maybe it just kind of like opens up and you get your reward. And then maybe it takes like a day or two to reset and then you can run it again. But when you do it this time, you don't get 2000 anymore. Maybe you get a chance of getting a hundred raw science or a 10 quartzite glob, 10 um, spicy glob, something that like takes time to make, but, or you can skip an armor upgrade. I don't, I don't know that that's probably something that's going to be crazy to have to code into the game but you know what i'm saying like a reward that's worth doing the challenge because to be honest with you i would easily do that again for the chance of getting like quartzite globs or something like that or like something that i can use to help upgrade that armor which would or, or upgrade the weapons and stuff like that and, and even maybe like you get a bunch of hide from it or you know a bunch of uh um berry leather pupa leather you know or the the leather plates you actually get that from that device you know i think that'd be kind of cool once again i don't know how it works into the story or if that's even possible to pull off but i just think rewards like that will would help benefit everybody to be honest with you because that would solve actually a few problems <laughs> for one the grind for armor you can actually just earn it you know i mean there's still a little bit of grind there because you have to protect it but honestly they're not there's only like one that i've had issues with and it's one in the haze but most of them aren't that hard to do. The antline one's kind of annoying. Um, but all in all, that would be cool if we could implement that in the future. So I I know I heard I heard that there that that's not in the works, which is sad. Once again, that they think that, you know, it's not set in stone, but the idea was for them to be a one-time use, but that is crazy because it would just be so much fun to have that just constantly be able to do. Or if you're not gonna make the mixers, do that to the wafer. Like you said that you, because they've said in the report that they wanted the wafer to be something that is like a mobile mixer, right? But the rewards aren't great for them for the wafer. So make the rewards better for the ra the wafer. Like you actually get a good reward from it by completing a wafer in a certain area. Maybe if you higher tier areas or higher tier things you put in there, you get a better return on. So that's just something we can, you know, we can push to. I'll be excited to see. Now, if there's anything we discussed today that you guys agree with or disagree with, please let's talk about it in the comments. That's my best way to talk to you guys in the comments. If anybody has commented before, you guys know that I do my best to respond to pretty much anything as long as it's not overly negative. I kind of just tend to push that aside if you guys are overly negative. But because this is, once again, this is a great community of people. This is a great dev team. They actually listen to, peop to, the, to the people. They listen to us. They want this game to succeed. They want us to love the game. So they actually listen. So instead of being negative about everything, let's push positivity their way. And let's just, you know, this game is super fun.
so that's what that's what i try to go for now if you guys have liked this video at all please hit that like button below if you guys have liked me at all please subscribe to the channel i love ground i love other survival games i am going to start streaming soon i'm super excited about that i haven't been i haven't streamed and god i don't know how long but i am super excited about streaming if you guys are interested i will be streaming on youtube i just think it's easiest for me because i'm already here so and i like the youtube format i like the way it streams that's where i used to stream so i'm excited to go stream i'm excited to stream again and i'll be excited to stream i won't just be streaming grounded i'll actually probably play a few other survival games and stuff like that too just for fun and uh anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day night evening afternoon whenever it is and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out